Then what's poppin' peoples? It's your host of M Toast TV. Back at you. Happy New Year's, everybody. Happy New Year's, happy New Year's. I hope that everybody New Year's be prosperous, as well as mine's too. And I got some mystery for y'all today. So Leslie this plane then went missing and then came back about, I don't know, two, three decades later. But um, we about to find a fuck out. It's 30 seconds in. Let's go. 54, Santiago Flight 513 was traveling on a routine journey carrying 88 passengers and four crew members. Though somewhere along its journey, the plane disappeared. Experts on the ground did their best to regain contact with the aircraft, but it had mysteriously vanished and no trace of it would ever be found. However, 35 years later, in 1989, the aircraft, as well as all 92 people aboard, were found when the plane finally touched down at an airport and the story sounds totally ridiculous, but bear with me and we'll get to the bottom of this story together. This is a story that's been shared around online thousands and thousands of times, and it even circulated in tabloids in the 1980s. But what exactly happened here, and can it be fully explained? It was September 4th of 1954. It was a completely ordinary day at an airport in Germany, and a plane was gearing up to leave its German home and head towards Chile. A total of 88 people had boarded the flight, and before long, four crew members joined them. I can't stress enough just how ordinary and boring this particular day was. Nothing out of the ordinary had taken place, and everything was business as usual. The weather that day was sunny, not a cloud in the sky. So when the plane took off, everyone assumed that it would arrive in Brazil after just a few hours. However, the plane never touched down, at least not in Brazil. The plane had been soaring over the Atlantic Ocean when it suddenly just disappeared. Air traffic control lost all contact with the plane and they were never able to reach any of the crew members again. Naturally, most people assumed that the plane must have crashed into the ocean, but no fragments were ever found, and no distress signals were ever received. By all means, the plane just disappeared. Before long, everyone who had boarded that plane that day was deemed lost and their families were left to mourn. But if you fast forward about 35 years to October 12th, 1989, the story of the plane's disappearance had completely faded from the minds of just about everyone. It was a normal day at Porto Alegre Airport in Brazil. All of a sudden, as the day's business was going on as usual, an unidentified aircraft popped up on the radar. People who were working in the control center tried to reach out to the plane's pilot multiple times, but they received no response. Considering how busy the airport was, it's been reported that the plane circled the airport multiple times before touching down, waiting for all the other aircraft to leave the runway. When the plane touched down, an armed team of security workers were sent out to intercept the plane on the runway to keep the occupants at the airport safe. As the security personnel ran up to the plane, they couldn't believe their eyes. Painted across the side of the plane was the name Santiago Airlines, a company that had shut down sometime in 1956. What was even more disturbing was that the plane's identification number read 513, the same as the plane that had disappeared all those years ago in 1954. The most disturbing part of all was that the plane looked as though it were brand new. Once the security workers had successfully stopped the plane, they began the process of boarding the plane to investigate. As they opened the hatch door, they couldn't believe what they had discovered. As the hatch door was released, a strong smell of old carpet and mildew filled the air. As they made their way inside, their jaws hit the floor. Inside the aircraft were all 88 of the passengers, still strapped into their seats. However, not one of them was alive. <laughs> All that remained were their skeletons. Some reports say that they were all sitting upright in their seats all these years later, while others believe that the cabin was filled with nothing but piles of bones. Even the four crew members were still accounted for. Management at the airport had no idea what to do. Neither did the police. Thus, the story was hidden from the public for quite some time until eventually news leaked to the press, leading to international coverage across various tabloids. It's been rumored that the Brazilian government did all that they could to crush the theories that were now running rampant about this case. However, there was little they could do. Everyone knew about the case sooner rather than later, and news quickly spread. But here's the thing. The question must be asked, 
did this entire event actually take place? Believe it or not, we really don't know for sure. As I mentioned a moment ago, this story has been shared online for many years, and various news outlets have even covered the case from time to time. However, according to several researchers, there isn't much evidence that this case ever actually happened. From the best anyone can tell, the earliest known That's report of this about. incident was in 1989, when the story was reported by Weekly World News, a well-known tabloid. Though, as I'm sure you've gathered, this tabloid isn't known for being very honest. Researchers have tied the story to several other events over the years. For example, if you're a fan of the Twilight Zone, and I don't know why you wouldn't be, they've tied this story as being very similar to the story of an episode called The Odyssey of Flight 33. There are also similarities between this story and another report that was made in 1985, telling of a very similar occurrence that supposedly took place at an airport in 1985. I'm sure you've already gathered that most people believe that this story is strongly tied to the idea of a time warp or time travel. Though, as far as science goes, we haven't been able to prove that time travel like this would even be possible. Though, interestingly, we haven't been able to prove it as being impossible either. So the jury's still out on that one. I personally haven't been able to dig up too much more about this story other than what Snopes has published on their website, where they claim that the entire event was made up. Though I have my own doubts about Snopes, so even that information seems a little bit suspicious uh, if you yeah. ask me. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I wanna pass the question to you. Do you believe this story or even believe that something like this may be possible? No. Also, if you happen to be living in Brazil or Germany during these times, have you ever heard of this story before? And if so, what do you think could have happened that day, if anything? Do you have any knowledge of anything like this taking place? Let me know in the comments. That's it, y'all. That's all I got. And y'all can let me know in the comments. I'm let his ass know. I don't believe that shit. <laughs> I don't believe that shit, man. You know what I mean? But um, anyway, like I was saying, Happy New Year's. I'm about to drop a couple of videos on y'all today. So we about to get right to it. And if you feeling my vibe, like, comment, and subscribe. All right? You know, I don't believe that fucking shit.